Hello everyone, welcome to Relative Security and today we are going to talk about the SIM solution. We already have a video which is a very detailed video on this topic and I advise you, I will drop a link of that video in this in the description for this video as well. But and this is a very short summary if someone doesn't have a time or they want to quickly go through what is SIM all about. This is a very short video um to discuss what is sim so we'll start with the, the definition of the sim so sim is a tool that collects aggregates and normalizes the data and anal analyzes it according to preset rules and presents the data in a human readable format one principle that we have to keep in mind is garbage in is equal to garbage out when you are feeding the logs to a SIM solution, we have to make sure that they are the quality logs which do have actual information or the data that you want to process on. If you are going to put some garbage logs into it, you won't get the value out of the SIM solution. Okay. SIM refers to a comprehensive approach to managing and analyzing the security information and events in any organization's IT infrastructure. The primary purpose of a SIM system is to provide real-time analysis of the security alerts generated by various hardware and software solutions. Because it is collecting, aggregating and correlating the log data from a wide range of sources throughout an organization's technology infrastructure. This is analyzing the data according to the predefined rules and presents the findings in a human readable format with the primary goal to facilitate proactive threat detection and empowering security professionals to respond swiftly to potential security incidents. For example, if there is any incident and you do not have a SIM solution, you will have to go through the logs in each of the device within your organization. You will have to go and check the dashboard of your firewall. Then you will go towards the IPS, IDS, switches, Active Directory, depending on the attack vectors that have been used and what are your findings. However, with a SIM solution, it provides you a unified view of organization's security landscape. It enhances the ability to correlate events identify patterns of malicious behavior and offer actionable insights through the intuitive dashboards. This central nervous system of the cybersecurity aids in staying vigilant against emerging threats, ensuring regulatory compliance and continually improving overall dig digital assets resilience. So when we are talking about feeding the logs to a SIM solution, what exactly do we mean by logs? So logs are records that document events, actions, or transactions within a system, application, or network, providing a chronological history of what exactly happened. For example, on the screen, you have two different snapshots of logs. On the left side, you have a log line from a web server where it says, tells you that a successful GET request for a page example dash page from IP address 127.0.0.1 at a specific whatever timestamp is there happened. In real world scenarios, the web server log can contain more details and additional fields depending on the configuration and the way the software is in the use. On the right hand side, you have the log from the Windows security event, which is telling you about the logon event on a server. The account name is John Doe, the workstation is 123, and rest of the detail as well, who logged in. So, one question that is oftenly asked is that why exactly 
the products have the logs in them. I mean, we do understand that we are using those logs because SIM is a solution that is working on those logs. All the logs from different firewalls, IDS, IPS, antivirus solutions, your endpoint uh, machines, your EDR solutions themselves, they are all sending the logs to the SIM solution where they are being correlated. But why exactly are the logs generated? So first and foremost reason is troubleshooting and debugging. Whenever the software developers are developing something, they need to do some troubleshooting. So to troubleshoot, they provide detailed record of events, errors and warnings in the form of logs. So this information becomes very invaluable when troubleshooting issues and debugging softwares allowing developers and support teams to identify and resolve problems efficiently. Similarly, some of the logs are to contain the data related to the system performance, such as the response time, resource utilization, and if there are any bottlenecks when the software is running, it can be identified. Security and auditing, forensic analysis, and compliance and regulations are some of other reasons why logs are being generating for example security and auditing these logs capture information about security related events such as login attempts changes to any permissions or any other security breaches so these become the very crucial for auditing and maintaining a secure environment so the next we are going to discuss about the detection strategies in the definition, we use the word preset defined rules, which are actually the detection strategy. So imagine in the SIM solution, you have collected all the logs from different devices. Now they are sitting there. Either you can use that SIM solution as a log management solution to store the logs for a longer time, or you can use those logs before storing them in, a, um, in, a, in any other storage solution. First example, what we will discuss about the use cases that you can develop on those logs is brute force attack detection, which will actually monitor the authentication logs for a high volume of failed login attempts within a very short time frame. For example, just now in the second slide, we saw a security log of successful login event. There is another event that is generated on the Windows machine that is 46. Uh, 34625, four, I believe, which is um, unsuccessful logon attempt. If you see a high volume of failed logon attempts and then all of a sudden you see a successful logon attempt, that would be definitely considered as a brute force attack detection. So this kind of use case will be within your SIM solution to evaluate those logs and see if the failed logon attempts increase uh, failed login attempts are be going beyond a certain threshold that you have defined if they are and then it is seen if there is any successful attempt the rule or the use case will trigger on the dashboard of your sim solution second example would be malicious command execution detection this use case will analyze system logs for unusual command line activities especially those indicative of command detection, injection, uh, injection or exploitation attempts. For example, malicious actors often attempt to execute unauthorized command on compromised systems. So we have to monitor logs for commands that deviate from typical usage patterns, including known malicious commands or exploit vulnerabilities. So if we create such rules, to detect an alert on any suspicious command line activities, it will help us to identify potential attempts to compromise the system. I hope this clarifies the main purpose of the SIM solution or whatever the SIM is. But before ending the video, we'll just quickly go through the summary of it. So there are logs being generated on each device within your environment. The environment where you are working or of your organization, it can be big, it 
can be small depending on the uh, sector that you are in and depending on the size of your own organization. All those different IT devices, digital assets, will be sending the logs to your SIM solution. What exactly are you going to capture from those logs or what uh, from those devices depends on your um, on your strategic goal why you are developing and deploying sim solution within your own premises once lo those logs are inside the sim solution the detection rules will be run on those logs and they will generate alerts and alarms which will be investigated by your SOC l1 analysts the next step would be to create dashboards which will be presented to your higher management or they are also helpful for the L1 analyst. And then you can create reports weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, whatever suits your organizational needs based on the logs that you have collected or based on the alerts that are being triggered from your SIM solution. For further information on how the SIM is used, we have a playlist with all the videos related to the security operations center which will give you more information about how l1 l2 l3 are using the same solution uh, within any organization i hope this video was helpful for you please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and this video thank you so much